Hi, so basically this is a very small project in which we'll design and implement an 8-bit multiplier using a basic mathematics algorithm. Um, so starting with this algorithm, the algorithm's name is Urdhva Trigyam Sutra. So this is basically a basic sutra uh, which is used to design multipliers and it gives a bit of performance and because it consumes less time for computation. So for example, compared to what traditional methods use, the traditional arithmetic units uses, this algorithm will give the final result in 50% less time uh, than the traditional methods. So uh, this algorithm, the name Urdhva Trigbhyam, it literally in Sanskrit means, Urdhva means vertical, Trigbhyam means crosswise. So we'll see in this algorithm, Urdhva uh, will do vertical multiplications and crosswise multiplications. We'll see in, uh, in a few minutes. So uh, starting with two bit multipliers. So let's begin with a two bit multiplier and eventually we'll reach for the eight bit. Uh, there are three steps. In the step one, we vertically multiply the LSPs. So this is the vertical, vertical first multi vertical multiplication that's happening. So we vertically multiply the LSPs. For the second step, we cross wise multiply the available bits. So uh, the cross multiplication happens in the second step and for the third step again vertical multiplication of the MSPs. So this is for two bit multipliers. Uh, the important point here is that how do we frame the final answer, the final product. So for the final product, uh, for the result of the for the, the result of the step one goes as it is. The crosswise multiplication happens twice, and we add those uh, results. The carry that is generated is added to the step three's product, right? And we get the final answer. So here is the circuit on the on the first step. A simple AND gate acts as a multiplier. Then the cross multiplication the cross multiplication happen, and uh, here are two half adders the carry of the uh, step two gets added to the uh, step three's result. And we finally get the final answer and the final carry. The output we get is of four bits. The maximum output we can get is of four bits. So starting with the code, if you are familiar with the very log. So this, we define a module for a two bit multiplier. Two inputs, one output. Um, we define our inputs, we define our output, and we uh, the we implement the circuit which we just saw. Use the AND gates, the half adders. So for the half adder, I have made a separate module. So here is how the half adder works, and this is basically the weight log implementation of the circuit we just saw for a two-bit multiplier using the Urdhva-Trig uh, algorithm. For a 4-bit uh, multiplier, uh, we'll use the module which we created uh, for the 2-bit multiplier. So again, the same steps. Step 1, we multiply the LS. The here, now, for the vertical multiplication, we use two last two bits, not the LSP. We use last two bits for our both uh, the numbers available. Then the cross multiplication happens. The cross multiplication products will be added, and the carry will be uh, added to the final step, that is the vertical multiplication of the first two bits, first two bits of both the uh, numbers available. Here, uh, it's important to see how the addition tree works. So, starting with the first step, Q0, the final two bits which we get after multiply uh, after the first step multiplication are passed as it is to the result. For Q1 and Q2. Uh, the entire uh, four bits are added, and this is additionally added to the first two bits of Q0. And for the Q3, the last, the first two bits of Q3 are passed as it is to the result, and the last two bits are added to the multiplication tree. Now, for this multiplication tree to work, we pad zeros to on the uh, right hand side of Q3. Um, left hand side of Q2, Q1 and four zeros on the left hand side again of Q0. 
so this is basically so that uh, the addition works flawlessly uh, here is the circuit diagram for a 4 bit multiplier we use we have four 2 bit multiplication four or uh, 2 bit multipliers so as you can see we are multiplying uh, we are using the 2 bit multiplier four times 1 2 3 and 4 um, then we pad zeros to the respective places as we saw in the uh, addition tree and we add them so this we use um, two adders 6 bit adders and 4 bit adders um, which is visible from here we, we, we have to use 4 bit adders for adding q1 and q2 and 6 bit adders for all the further additions and then we finally we get the carry and the final answer the final uh, 8 bit answer here is the code for 4 bit, four bit multiplier we define our inputs and output um, then we use four, 2 bit multiplier uh, module 4 times as it was apparent in the circuit we just saw we assign the values using based on the circuit and uh, the further modules which I have used uh, are the 4 bit adder which I, as, as I just said and uh, 1 6 bit adder so it's apparent from this code how I mean where exactly are we using the 4 bit and 6 bit adders so basically the main idea of this algorithm uh, algorithms working is that we multiply the first step we multiply vertically the last uh, the the LSBs then we have cross multiplication that happening we add the res that result and we add the carry of that result to the final step the again the vertical multiplication of the MSPs so this is the entire process that's happening on the same ground uh, we move on to the 8 bit multipliers Again, the first step we multiply vertically. Now, this time we multiply four bits at one time. So, the, this is the first step. For the second step, we cross multiply uh, the remaining bits and add them. The, the uh, carry that will be generated will be added to the third step, which is again the vertical multiplication, this time of the first uh, MSB, basically the first four MSPs moving on to the addition tree now again this is the most important step we use the first the this is uh, the Q naught uh, that is the four steps answer so the last four bits are passed on to the final product as it is the last the uh, first four bits of Q naught are added or will be added to the uh, in the uh, addition tree the cross multiplications which we get are added as it is uh, the completed bits are will be added and for the final step the last four bits will be added to the addition tree and the first four bits will be passed to the result uh, as it is and finally we get our 16 bit answer similar to the four bit multiplier this is how the eight bit multiplier looks um, we have four four bit multiplier blocks modules we pad the zeros wherever required. We use the respective adders and we get a final answer. This is how the circuit looks for an 8 bit multiplier. Uh, four 4 bit multipliers defining inputs and outputs. Uh, this is again based on the circuit that we just saw. So here we use 8 bit and 12 bit uh, adders for which the module modules are separately created and finally we get our answer the 8 bit answer this is a simulation code which i ran for my code we'll just see the test bench code as well uh, in uh, a few minutes so for example uh, the input is given 0 and 0 we get the final answer as 0 so for the uh, completion purpose i tested it with the maximum 8 bit number one can get that is 255 so it gets it gives the correct answer the 16 bit correct answer so for example uh, this is easy to uh, visualize so this is 1 and 2 3 multiply by uh, i'm sorry 4 and 1 5 multiply by 3 and we get we should get 15 and this is the 15 
So um, similarly, the further multipl multiplications work. So this is the code uh, where we are going to execute the uh, entire code here. I'm executing my log code on an online compiler. So uh, these are the all the modules which are defined. The half header module, 4 bit order, 6 bit order, 8 and 12 bit orders. Here is the module for 2 bit multiplier. We have seen all these codes. The core module for uh, 4 bit uh, multiplier. Then the required 8 bit multipliers module. And here is the from here starts the test bench. First, we define the 8 bit inputs, the 16 bit output. We start monitoring the input and outputs after regular time intervals. So, the first input we provide is 0 and 0, then 255, 255. 5 and 3 and so on and so forth. Uh, let me again execute the code. So here are all the results which are obtained. For example, let's check out t equals 300. So the input provided is 4 and 2. The answer should be 8. And 8 is indeed the answer. So this was the Verilog implementation of 8-bit multiplier using Ordo Trigbem. Uh, algorithm, a Vedic algorithm. Uh, thank you.